Hey guys, it's Nikki here with Lifestyle DIYW, and today I'm going to show you how to make one of these same themed signs just for Valentine's Day. Let's get to it. So I have the heart frame from Target. It was $3 in the Target dollar spot. And so I picked up two of them, you know, because I usually always tell you guys to get two of everything, at least, if you're able to. Um, and I thought they were so cute. At first, I was going to make like a two-tier cupcake tray, and I can still actually make that with these. But for today, I'm going to make these love signs. I actually have the... A peel and stick love sign that I got from I believe Target as well um, and if I didn't get it from Target it was probably like at Dollar Tree or something like that but I, I think it was Target to be exact so all I'm going to do is literally put the frame down and I kind of know where my sensor is because I made one already and I just got the same idea from the believe sign from Target and so I'm going to open the sticker up and actually show you guys the same decal that they put on the Believe sign at Target that I got at Target for the dollar spot. At the dollar spot is the same thing that they made with this. Literally the same thing. And so I already kind of know the sizing because this is... This is oblong. This is, you know, vertical. And the heart shape has a little round edge to it. So all I have to do is cut the, the, the little edge off the L like I did on the first one I made. So the first one I made as a trial, I just wind up cutting off the edge part to the L. And if you want to do it, you know, another way, the opposite way, so you may not have to cut it, you know, let me know if, if it works out for you. But... I know I had to cut it because it wouldn't fit and I'll show you guys exactly what I mean. So, you know, because it's kind of bigger than the inside of the frame, you're only going to be able to get half of it in unless you don't mind it sticking out. I That was bothering me and I was like, no, there has to be a way to fix this. So what I'm going to do is take my scissor and I'm going to cut this edge off. As best I can and I might do it a little bit on the angle whoopsie and so it leaves this little like you know tear or whatever and then I'm going to put it directly into the frame so you guys can see that it fits perfectly actually this one fits better than the first one I did and then I'm going to just place the hearts around and let them stick now you can make this permanent you can glue it you can you know do whatever you need to to make sure that it sticks but i don't want this permanent because actually when it gets closer to valentine's day i might actually just make a heart shaped cupcake tear out of this okay so voila that is basically it and you have your love heart frame that i just created and isn't this so cute? I think this is really so cute. I think this is absolutely adorable. And so now we're going to just put this up on my mantle. Or maybe I'll just put it on the table. Maybe I'll just put this on the table for now. Because there's one up there already. And I'm still taking that on Christmas tree. But uh, that's just my basic stuff for right now. I'm not going all crazy for... For Valentine's Day, I just want to have a little bit of decor up, um, you know, just to get into the spirit. I don't want to are moving. So I'm just kind of staying to, um, you know, the basic themes of everything. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to move this over here. I'm going to draw this in a little bit more. And this is the rose wreath that I made in the summertime. And actually, it's in a heart shape. But because it was packed away, it's in that oblong shape. And that's fine because I think it goes perfect with 
you know, this, this little setup and nothing crazy. I didn't, like I said, I didn't want to do anything crazy for Valentine's Day. I just wanted to uh, get into the spirit. But guys, look at that. Isn't she lovely? I think she's gorgeous. And you literally, I made this for four dollars. Some of these uh, frames that come with the lettering inside, the mirrored lettering, um, go for ten ten dollars and up. So, look at that. I thought that was so cute. Thank you for following Lifestyle DIYW, and please tag me on Instagram. Please tag me on Pinterest for any DIYs that you see that I've done. Make sure you check me out on Etsy. Also, go to my YouTube page, subscribe, and like. Thank you.